Hello everyone, my name is Bao, and today I'm going to tell you about Voldemort's Rise of Power Discovery Harry Potter episode 7. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, my friend. It could be hard to understand. It could be hard to understand how an evil, how an evil wizard like Voldemort, a wizard like Voldemort managed to gather, managed to gather power and follow power and followers. It was a slow process. It was a slow process that started even before. That started even before he was born. He was born. The dark arts have been a part. The dark arts have been part. Part of the wizarding world. Of the wizarding uh, world for a long world time. for a long time. From the first global. From the first global wizarding world. A war. Wizarding war in the early. In the early 20th century. Early 20th century. <laughs> to the battle between Harry and Voldemort. The battle, uh, between Harry and in the ni in the 1990s. <laughs> there have always been, there have always been people, people who chose to stand up, who chose to, uh, to stand up and, fight. and fight back against fight back these dark, against the dark forces. forces. In this video, we, this video, we will explore Voldemort's rise right 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 to power, the history of the history of the dark arts in the wizarding world, the dark arts in the wizarding world, and how this all led. And how this, uh, and how this all led to the second wizarding war. To the second wizarding war. While magic can be, all magic can be used to do wonderful things. Used to do wonderful things such as heal ailments. Heal ailments. Regrowing bones is a regrowing bones is a nasty business. Nasty business. Or fix a broken. Or fix a broken part. Can power of glasses. glasses. Oculus repair. Them. There are unfortunately, there are unfortunately some who use it for more nefarious. Some use it for more nefarious purposes. Yes, purposes. It's a resurrection song. It's the Owl's Secret. It's the Owl's Secret. It has been decided. It's been decided that, that certain spells are that certain spells too are cruel and dangerous to perform. Dangerous to perform. Nevada Kedavra. Nevada Kedavra. And they are known as the unfair. And they're not actually unforgivable curses. Forgivable curses. They're so named. Because they are unforgivable. Yeah, because they're unforgivable. The use of any one of them. The use of any one of them. Are you a one-way ticket? <laughs> You're a one-way ticket. To us, a van. Ask God. We're gonna move this right together and mix it together. Unforgivable. I can't even spell and move it. Let me guess. However, just like in the strict laws against using these curses. Correct. Right. The Ministry of Magic. The Ministry of Magic has a strict law. A strict laws against, against using these curses. Using these curses. Both to protect its citizens. Both to protect its citizens. And to prevent the and to prevent dark, dark arts, arts from gaining popularity. From gaining popularity. However, just like in the Muggle world, there are people. However, just like in the Muggle world, people who are more than happy. The more uh, there are people who are more than happy to break these laws. to break these laws and use these and use these awful curses. Awful curses. Why is people just leaking their arms? Fortunately, fortunately, students at Hogwarts study students at Hogwarts study defense defense against the dark arts. against the dark arts to protect themselves to protect themselves from dark magic against this dark magic. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Throughout history, Throughout history, there have been wizards who, who use the dark. There have been wizards to use uh, that use the dark arts to achieve their dark goals. to achieve their goals. Gallop Grindelwald. Gallop Grindelwald. The first dark. The first dark wizard of prominence in the 20th century. Wizard of prominence in the 20th century was very close. Was very close to Albus Dumbledore. Mr. Albus Dumbledore and. In their youth. Their youth. However, Dumbledore. However, Dumbledore realized that. realized that Grindelwald. That Grindelwald ideas about. His ideas about the. The relationship between muggles and wizards. The relationship between muggles and wizards was getting very dark. Getting very dark. With or without you. With or without you. I'll burn down their world. I'll burn down their world. I'll burn down their world. There's nothing you can do to stop me. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Grindelwald believed that wizards. Grindelwald believed that wizards were naturally superior. Were naturally superior and should, and should rule over muggles instead of muggles. 
of coexisting in harmony. Instead of coexisting in harmony. No! No. Dumbledore. With Dumbledore with the, with the help of the international in the, with the international wizarding community. Or wizarding community. Try to try to stop Grindelwald. Stop Grindelwald gaining follow. Gain followers in power. In power. The wizard evaded. The wizard capture for years. Wizard evaded capture for years before meeting. Before meeting Dumbledore. Dumbledore for an epic duel. For an epic duel. But we won't spoil. But we won't spoil everything. During Grindelwald's right During Grindelwald's life face to power, a boy named Tom A boy named Tom Riddle was Tom born. Riddle was born in a muggle orphanage. In a muggle orphanage. He had no knowledge of the He had no knowledge of the wizarding world. Wizarding world. Or that he was a, or he was a wizard. wizard until he turned up so he turned eleven, 11 when, Albus Dumb when Albus Dumbledore came to reveal came to reveal his true identity. His true identity. I think I'm different. different. Or perhaps they're wrong. Right. On his mother's side, Riddle was descended from House Gaunt. Riddle was descended from House Gaunt. The last living descendant. The last living descendant of Salazar. Slytherin. The founder of Slytherin. The founder of Slytherin House. He wanted only wanted only pure blooded students. Only pure blood. To attend at Hogwarts. Blooded students to attend Hogwarts. Riddle would go. Riddle would go on, on to continue this. To guarantee this legacy of the legacy of prejudice is prejudice. He grew up. As he grew up. That's right. That's right. Tom Riddle grew up. Tom Riddle grew up to be a terrifying Lord Voldemort. Up to be the terrifying Lord Voldemort. He read a lot about. He read about the. He read a lot about the dark arts in school. About the dark arts in school and got some pretty. Got some pretty awful ideas. Awful ideas about how the wizard. And how the wizarding world should look. Wizarding world should look. Wait, is that horse awful? I read something rather odd. Something rather odd. About a bit of rare, rare magic. After graduating from Hogwarts, after graduating from Hogwarts, he tried to get a job there. He tried to get a job there as a teacher, as a teacher but Dumbledore refused to hire. Dumbledore refused to hire him, as he knew that Riddle saw it. As uh, he knew Riddle saw it as an opportunity to recruit more dark wizards. As an opportunity to recruit students to his pursuit of the dark arts. Following this, reject Following this rejection, Reaction? Tom Riddle fully embraced. Tom Riddle fully embraced his role, uh, new role as Lord Voldemort. His new role as Lord Voldemort. He spent years studying. He spent years studying dark arts and secrets. Being the dark arts in secret, and building an and building an army, army in preparation. In preparation for the uh, takeover of the Wizarding World. And for his takeover of the Wizarding World, he preyed on communities that had been. He preyed on the communities that had been looked down on by wizards. Looked down on by wizards, such as well, the wolves and giants. Such as well as the giants. As it was easier to convince them. Now it was well, easy to convince them to turn against the wizard. To turn against the wizarding world as a whole. The world as a whole. Other wizards. Other wizards who uh, held the same reduced beliefs. Who held the same prejudiced beliefs. Heard about Voldemort. Heard about Voldemort's plan. And, and joined the court. Before long. Before long, he had a fully fledged army. Had a fully fledged army. As is the full army at his disposal. Yeah! Voldemort's, in Voldemort's inner, circle inner circle called themselves called themselves as Death the Death Eaters, and they were feared throughout. And they were feared throughout the Wizarding World, the Wizarding World for their use of for their use of the dark arts, the dark arts to recruit people to recruit people to Voldemort's army, to all of Voldemort's army and silence his critics. His silence is critics. Some of those who have some of those opposed his rise to power, to power, to power, to power decided to fight back. Decided to fight back. And this included some and it's, uh, quite some familiar faces who formed familiar faces who formed the order the order of the Phoenix. of the Phoenix. Wait, is that Harry's mom and dad? They're serious. They're dead. For reasons we won't for reasons we won't spoil. spoil. Voldemort believed Voldemort boy one thing standing but the one thing standing between him between him and the Wizarding World domination and the Wizarding World domination was a baby. Was a baby boy, a uh, wizard named Harry. Potter. Boy wizard named Harry Potter. Yep. You know about that. We did. Yeah. Who at this point? Well, this sort was less than a year old. Was less than a year old. Harry's parents. Harry's parents tried to protect Harry. Tried to protect him and keep him hidden. And keep him hidden from Voldemort. From Voldemort. But some. But some betrayed their. Location. Betrayed that location. Yep. Pedro. He found the young family. He found the young family.